Yes. Australia's foreign ministry minister declined to say whether Ramos Horta discussed bringing in Chinese partners. Now, Australian development um, assistance came with the spirit of wanting East Timor, a half of island nation with a population of 1.5 million, to be more resilient. Canberra and Dili have been arguing over how to share greater sunrise revenue since East Timor became independent from Indonesia in 2002. Under a maritime border treaty they signed uh, in 2018, East Timor would receive 80% uh, of the revenue if gas, gas is piped to Australia and 70% if it's, uh, it is piped to East Timor. A treaty signed in 20, 2006 excuse me, was cancelled when East Timor accused an Australian spy agency of bugging government offices in Delhi to give Australian negotiators an unfair advantage. Australia's new government elected in May pleased East Timor in July by dropping the four-year-old prosecution of lawyer Bernard Colleri, who was accused of attempting to prove the spy. Now, Wong said that the existing joint venture partners in Greater Sunrise East Timorese state-owned company Timor Gap, Australian company Woodside Energy and Japanese company Osaka Gas, would need to reach an agreement for the project to proceed. Look, I, I think we, we live in t a time of strategic competition. We all understand that. And one of the ways in which countries, smaller nations, medium-sized nations, one of the ways in which we navigate that period of strategic competition is, is by working together, by working together to ensure our own economic resilience and that we have a, a, a regional order that reflects rules and norms uh, that multilateralism continues to operate. Well, see, as an Australian, uh, and Timor Leste knows this, that's why you, are, you have such a history of support for multilateralism. We don't want a situation where power and size is the only way in which disputes in this world become resolved. We all have an interest in a stable, prosperous order where sovereignty is respected and where disputes are resolved by norms. That's the approach Australia will take.